Taylor is famous. Pepper so is Pepper La Beja. In a sense, so am I. But a very much different quantity. No magazine's going to run up to cover me if I go to a premiere. But it's still a fame. It's a small fame. But you absorb it, you take it. And you like it. You like the adulation, the applause, the people cheering you on, the winning. It's like a, a physical high. It's a, you know, it's a good high. It's an addictive high, like all highs in the long run turn out to be. But it's a high that won't hurt you. If everybody went to balls and did less drugs, it'd be a fun world, wouldn't it? I'm dressing, of course, to go to a show because I've always done this professionally. And I was a dancer. And I'm trying to remember when the first time I went to a ball that was the early type ball, when you everybody just walked and they gave away like four or five prizes and a very limited category. And the children now, most of them, 75% of them of the children who see the ball wouldn't know what a ball was if it knocked them in the head. When I first started going to balls, it was all about drag queens and they were interested in looking like Las Vegas showgirls back pieces, tail pieces, feathers, beads, and all that. But as the 70s rolled around, the things started changing. It started coming down to just wanting to look like a gorgeous movie star like Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor. And now they went from that to trying to look like models like Iman and Christy Brinkley and Maud Adams and all those children. Everyone couldn't be a Las Vegas showgirl. Everyone couldn't put on a stack of feathers and a big headpiece. So they made the categories where everybody, that's what really made the balls change. So there was more involvement. Everyone that goes to one of these affairs now damn near participate. Eventually, over the course of a year's balls, they've all walked the runway in some category or another. Either you've got a nice body, or you are very fashionable, or you're very pretty, or you're very real looking, but there's always something there for everyone. And that's what keeps them all coming. And it's like, it's like in nature. I'm such a, na a nature fan. The young ones are always bucking to move the, the old bulls out of the way. That's why they change, go through all these mad categories that I never can stay awake for.